I'm Ryan Birkenholtz. Welcome to my garage. This is a 2007 Dodge Durango. We're going to be replacing the front differential fluid. Um, tools you're going to need for this procedure are two quarts of full synthetic 75W90 differential fluid. You're going to need some type of RTV gasket maker. This is a uh, ultra black made by Permatex. And you're going to need a half inch uh, socket and you might need some new joints uh, similar to this one to actually get to some of them. Um, so let's get started. One additional thing I forgot to mention you're going to need is a fluid pump. Uh, this is a simple um, squeeze ball fluid pump but you need some method of getting the differential fluid into the differential. Alright, the front differential is underneath the front of the engine. Let's take a look. There's the front differential. You see the fill cap right there in the front. And is how this works is we're going to remove all those bolts that are holding the front differential cover on and it's going to drain uh, through the seal. We'll take the whole cover off, clean it up, and replace it um, with a new gasket sealer and then also fill it after we're done. So let's get started. Okay, we've got all the screws out except for this top one, which is most of the way out. Uh, we've got the uh, vent, and we removed the vent tubing here. Now we're going to use a flat bladed screwdriver and very carefully try to pry this thing open uh, to break the gasket, and it's going to drain down into the pan, which is underneath. So I'm going to pry right here. Alright, I finally got the uh, cover off. This is what it looks like. We're going to have to scrape off all of this orange uh, gasket material off of this surface as well as on the cover surface. So I'm going to show you the cover here and we'll get going on that. This is the front differential cover. Uh, we're going to take off all this orange silicone. Uh, just using a razor blade. You can also use a gasket scraper. I'm going to get those surfaces as clean as possible before we uh, can reassemble it. So let's get going on that. Okay, we got our cover nice and clean. Gasket surfaces are nice and clean. Um, 
I want to make darn sure that there's no oil or any other substances on these gasket surfaces, otherwise the gasket maker might not adhere. So I'm going to use some uh, adhesive cleaner uh, just to make sure there's nothing left on here. Okay, that should be nice and clean. Now we're going to go do, this, do the same with the surface down underneath the vehicle, and then we'll get going on the gasket. Okay, I've got the surface of the uh, front differential cleaned off. Um, now we're going to run a bead of gasket material around the cover, which I'll show you in a minute, and then we're going to reinstall the cover. And after that, we can uh, get it all bolted down and fill it with fluid. All right, now we need to run a bead of uh, gasket maker. I'm using the Ultra Black by Permatex. Run a bead around here. Um, go around all the, the bolt holes. Uh, follow the directions that come with your gasket maker. This particular one requires me to put the gasket material on. Assemble them, finger tighten the bolts until it starts to squeeze around the edges, and then wait for an hour before I actually tighten everything. So, uh, follow your instructions. But let's put a bead down. Okay, let's go install it. Okay, I'm going to give this one more good wipe on the bottom here uh, because there's some oil leaking across the gasket surface. We don't want that. All right, we've got the cover back on. I've just got everything snug down just a little bit, and we're supposed to wait an hour, and then we can come back and and uh, snug everything down just a little bit more. Then we'll be filling the differential through the fill hole, and I guess while I'm at it right now, I'll put the vent tube back on. So we'll come back in a little while and fill it. Fill it. I'm going to do this from above. Got the hose routed into the fill nozzle, and I'll slowly add the 